There are a ton of rumors regarding the coming Avengers 4 trailer. Some of these rumors spell very bad news for Marvel fans. We are breaking it all down. This is the Nerdy News Rundown. Let's get you filled in. What is up, everybody? Happy Wednesday to you all. Now, before we get into this video, I need to shout out Flash Force, who got the nerd card question correct in my MCU video from yesterday. You definitely know your stuff when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so shout out to you, Flash Force. We will do another nerd card question at the end of this video. All right, so let's get right into this. There's not a lot of time to waste, and there's actually several stories I want to get to today, including everything to do with the Avengers 4 trailer and maybe some bad news when it comes to that. First up, Disney just filed a patent for what is being called the most realistic lightsaber of all time. This is going to be a new version of those toys where you kind of throw out the lightsaber that's always tucked into the saber. Apparently, it works something like a tape measure where it's like wound up inside and you click the button and it kind of expands out. I don't know, but apparently it's supposed to be a thing where you just have this lightsaber hilt, you press the button and a lightsaber actually just comes out of it. Uh, sounds pretty cool. Disney patented that and apparently this is something they want to get into production very soon that you can have not only at toy shelves but at Galaxy's Edge and everywhere. Wonderful, beautiful, nerdy times are ahead of us where we can get the most realistic lightsaber ever yet created. Just wanted to bring that little ditty to your attention. Next up, another rumored show is coming to Disney Plus within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This one is supposed to be a Rocket Raccoon and Groot show. I mean, it just sounds perfect. It sounds amazing. I mean, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel working together, playing these two awesome CG characters in a series. Uh, sign me up. It sounds pretty dope. The only question that popped off to me was like, hey, is this too many of these freaking streaming shows with Marvel? I mean, they've got a lot of these shows planned, so I am curious let me know in the comment section what do you think too many marvel shows coming not enough marvel shows tell me your thoughts all right so let's get into this hype for the avengers 4 trailer i don't know if there's ever been more of a build-up more anticipation for a trailer than there has been for avengers 4 i mean obviously the snap and the end of infinity war left us with just crazy questions it's an it's an insane cliffhanger we need to know what is happening in the next avengers movie now a lot of people are saying we expect this teaser trailer to drop by the end of the year and this is something that kevin feige recently said he was being asked about this at uh chunk it of sorts for film and he definitely said you would see it before the end of the calendar year however the russo brothers shed a little bit of doubt on that saying that they don't know whether or not you will see the avengers 4 trailer by the end of the year so i don't know a little bit of confusion out there i tend to believe that we will be getting it before the end of the year now there have been a ton of rumors suggesting when the thing will come out some people said it would happen on thanksgiving the newest rumor is that it will be released on black friday but that that has been refuted by a number of sources, including Jeremy Conrad from MCU Cosmic. If you never go to MCUCosmic.com, it's a great website. Has a lot of cool stories about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Jeremy Conrad seems to have some pretty good sources. And so I think you can rule out Thanksgiving, and you can rule out Black Friday. However, there are a couple other dates that do stick out to people. Number one, it would be Monday Night Football in November or early December. So any one of those games could be a big release date for the trailer. Number two, there is a very interesting event happening with Collider and the Russo brothers where they're having a big screening and a Q&A next Wednesday, which would be November 28th. A lot of people think that as a little bit of a tease there and a, a, just a good way to get buzz for the trailer, they will release the teaser trailer next Wednesday during that Q&A screening. Another interesting date that has popped up is December. 25th, Christmas itself, which is the day that Infinity War will begin streaming on Netflix, and there are some rumors that Marvel's going to be doing something very interesting with its marketing, and as a co possible connection to that story, people think, hey, if they put Infinity War out on Netflix, what if they just attach the trailer after the movie so that everybody that's watching Infinity War on Netflix gets their first peek at the trailer for Avengers 4. Now, all of those dates seem very plausible to me. I'm kind of leaning towards next Wednesday with the Collider event. I think that would be pretty cool. And I actually very much 
dislike the idea of it coming out on Christmas on Netflix. I mean, after all, I do believe that this teaser trailer will want to play in front of a lot of December movies that are coming out. You've got Transformers, Bumblebee movie, you've got Aquaman, you've got Mary Poppins, you've got Into the Spider-Verse, movies that a lot of different families and a lot of different people are going to be checking out. Just makes sense. Get the trailer out before those movies so you can attach it to those reels. Now, as far as what I think we will see in the trailer, this is where it gets a little bit weird and where the disappointing news comes in. Now, recently there have been a lot of stories coming out about how Marvel is going to approach the marketing for Avengers 4 in a different way than they have approached it for any of their other films. This story, combined with some tweets that Jeremy Conrad made about how the marketing was going to disappoint fans and he had some bad news when it came to the trailer really got me thinking. I actually believe that Marvel might take the route of barely showing any footage at all for Avengers 4 before the movie actually comes out. And I mean think about it as I said at the top there's just so much hype for Avengers 4 as is. If there was ever a movie in history that did not actually need a single trailer to properly promote itself it would be Avengers 4 that's just where we're at right now. And also, if you think about them saying that it's going to be different than any other movie that they had done, I mean, perhaps they're just going to keep that mystery completely on lock. I really don't believe we're going to be getting a lot of footage and, and this teaser trailer that we're all just looking forward to so much, I believe that teaser trailer might not have a single frame of Avengers 4 footage in it. Now, I obviously think as you get closer and closer to the film, they will actually show some stuff from the movie, but it might be really cryptic. It might be very mysterious. Perhaps they'll take like voiceover clips from the film, play it over other footage, or have a lot of vignettes in the trailers. But I really do believe that when you look at the stories that are out there about them just approaching the marketing differently, the fact that they were not at Hall H in San Diego Comic-Con last year, the fact that there's just such a buildup of hype for Avengers 4, I, I really believe it's feasible that what all of this is, is hinting at is Marvel actually not showing us much of Avengers 4 before we go into the theater. And for me personally, I think that's amazing. I think they've earned this right. I think it will frustrate us a little bit, but I think that people like me and people that do like speculative stuff on YouTube and Reddit, I think they're going to have a field day with it. And that in and of itself builds a lot of the hype for the movie that Marvel doesn't even have to pay for necessarily. You know what I mean? Like us here at the Den of Nerds, we've been hyping up Avengers 4, you know what I mean? Emergency Awesome, Everything Awesome, Cosmic, uh, MCU Cosmic, so many people out there hyping Avengers Avengers 4, maybe they don't really need to show us much in these trailers to get our butts into the theater. So I want to know, guys, what do you think about that? Would you be super upset if Marvel took this approach and you did not see much of Avengers 4 before you went into the theater? Or do you think that that would be kind of cool? Whatever you're thinking, let me know in the comment section below. And so that is the news out there, guys. No trailer on Black Friday. Curb your expectations for that. I do do believe we will be getting the teaser by the end of the year likely before december but i'm actually afraid that we will not get a lot of avengers 4 footage in this trailer or in any of them leading up to avengers 4 and as i said i'm very curious what do you think about that let me know in the comments now let's check that nerd car before we get out of here i want to know who was the director that did ant-man and the wasp really good director and i actually think the perfect director to tackle the fantastic four once they are integrated in the mcu but the question remains what's the name of the director that directed ant-man and the wasp answer that question in the comment section below and as i always say I hope you are having an awesome and nerdy day, and I will see you in the next video.